Welcome to the ReadWorks channel. Today I'm going to cover one of the most important topics I can think of, how and why to break in a clarinet or saxophone read. There are two main reasons for having a consistent break-in process for your reads. The first is it allows you to hydrate and seal your read before you ever play it. And then the second one is through a series of short playing sessions and small adjustments, you're able to create a much more stable read with a longer playing life. On the first day of the break-in process, all you need to do is start to hydrate the read. Pull it out of its case, set it in some nice cool water, and let it sit for about a minute. By placing the reed in the water for a minute, you allow the open pores along the vamp to pull water into the reed and gradually rehydrate the wood. If you leave it in longer than a minute, uh, you run the risk of actually bringing too much water in and creating a waterlogged reed that could mold or just become overly softened or warped later on. After a minute, simply wipe the moisture off, place it in some sort of reed case. I prefer not to put it back in that one. And then place the reed case in a Ziploc bag just to keep the reed from completely drying back out again. On the second day, we repeat the process. Pull the reed out of the case and soak it for one minute. On the third day of the break-in process, soak the reed for one minute and then seal the vamp. You can use either reed rush or sandpaper, but the basic concept is to gently sand the entire surface of the vamp of the reed to close up any of those pores that are open. This will prevent saliva and impurities from getting into the cane and create a much longer lasting reed. You can find reed rush or Dutch rush growing along many rivers or you can buy commercially produced versions. I just found this piece growing nearby. To use it as a sanding device, soak it in water for about a minute until it's pliable. Grip it between your middle finger and your thumb, and then flatten the side with your index finger. This creates a nice sanding surface to use on the vamp. If you don't have reed rush, you can also use 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper. I like to just tear off a small corner from a larger sheet, enough to wrap my index finger. This lets me precisely sand the vamp of the reed. Sandpaper can be more abrasive than reed rush, so be very gentle while sanding. The goal with sealing the vamp is to not take off any noticeable amount of wood. To seal the flat side of the reed, the best tool is a single cut flat file. Make sure that the file is wide enough to accommodate your reed. So if you're sealing a baritone saxophone reed or a bass clarinet reed, you will probably need a pretty large file. This one works perfectly for alto saxophone or soprano clarinet reeds. To seal the flat side, place the reed directly on the file. Put one finger on the vamp, one on the center, and one in the middle of the bark. With firm but gentle pressure, slide the reed back and forth 10 or 15 times. After the reed has been sealed and hydrated, it's time to start doing a series of play tests. The first day, I usually just play it for about a minute, try to get a feel for the strength of the reed, and any issues it might have, like balance or being warped. On subsequent days, play your read just a few more minutes each and every day. 
and along the way make any adjustments that are necessary. It's ideal just to make a small adjustment on one day, even if you know you need to make larger adjustments later. Thank you.